Hello and thank you for calling in today. My name is Mark Bladstein, and this is the fifth in my series of You've Been Found Guilty, Now What? For those of you who have loved ones who are currently incarcerated or about to be incarcerated into the federal system, or you're facing going into the federal BOP, some of the questions may be, how long are you going to have to serve? This is, go this is going to be what we will review today. And in the federal system, unlike the state system, there is no parole. While, while good time credit is available to all of those that are incarcerated in the federal system, for those that are serving either a life sentence or a sentence of one year, one day, it is not going to be available. With the passing of the First Step Act, there have been significant changes made to the amount of good time credit given for good behavior. And that would be from 47 days per year to 54 days per year. But this is for the imposed sentence of the judge initially, not for the amount of time served. And this is a very important distinction. It's not for the whole amount of time that you have already served rather it is for the amount of imposed sentence that the judge gives you at the sentencing hearing another potential qualifier to be eligible for good time credit is something called the prison litigation reform act this says that regarding your educational history you must have showed either one that you have earned your GED, or you've demonstrated that you've made satisfactory practice towards earning your GED. Unfortunately, you can also have this good time credit taken away. But let's assume for now that you have had a stellar credit or stellar record and have not gotten into any trouble. You can have the, your good time taken, a crit, taken away, but only for good cause. And then only in these two example, examples. First, you've participated in either a food riot, a strike, or some sort of work stoppage. Second, there was some sort of misbehavior, but the Bureau of Prison staff only learned about it after the good time had been given to you. So after the fact, FAM, which is Families Against Mandatory Minimums, has created a very simple and easy to understand calculation method for determining the amount of time you're going to be incarcerated. So this is what I've chosen to use in this explanation. It has two parts. The first is the statute's plain language. And what it says is that each inmate can serve up to 50 or can earn rather up to 54 days of good time credit abbreviated as GTC per year against their entire term of imprisonment and second the term of imprisonment is defined as the imposed sentence by the judge in other words the judge imposes a sentence, and that is the entire term of imprisonment. And that is the definition that's being used. In the next series of slides, we're going to go over the formula. The example starts with the prisoner in the federal system. They may have to serve five years, which approximately becomes 1,826 days. We're going to assume their conduct is excellent, where they can get or earn all possible good time. Then, federal sentences are served at approximately 85% each year of the judge's imposed sentence. Now we get to summarizing the formula. Generally speaking, we take 311 days which includes the 54 days of good time, which it, what this means is that if you add 311 
days plus the 54 days, that con comes to 365. So we use 311 days times five years that equals 1,555 days until you get released. Then, by the end of five sets or five years, you would have served 1,555 days of the original 1,826 day sentence, which equals 85% of the original federal sentence. Thank you for listening in. Should you have had any questions, or please feel free to share this audio video YouTube with friends or those in need. If you have an interest or questions, please feel free to contact me for a no-charge consult, a meet that will reach via either email, my website, you can Google search me, a defendant, you've been found guilty, now what? I've been published. You can enter the uh, term that you see there on the YouTube video. I look forward to speaking with you at our next YouTube presentation, and I hope you found this YouTube helpful. Have a good day.